Hey y'all, this your girl coming at you with another video. This is going to be for the collective. So take what resonates, leave what does not. If it's not your story, don't make it fit. All right. So you can be any sign watching this and this message may resonate with you. All righty. Feel free to reverse the roles or apply it to your situation as you see fit. Because y'all already know how this energy and time thing works. So, Holy Spirit, please allow me to be the channel and provide the collective. We're clearing on these messages on today. All right. Okay. Chariot energy coming out in the reverse once again. All right. So, something is being exposed here. Something is out in the open. Okay. Um, some of you all, you could still be dealing with an energy of opposition. If it's not necessarily a person, um, like hating on you or not liking you, um, I feel like this is opposition in other forms. Like you may have to be somewhere at a certain time and there's constantly things that's getting in the way of you being able to make it to wherever you need to be at that time. Um, you, you're going for something, but something comes in between something that you're going for, you know, like that type of opposition, not necessarily always somebody, you know, hating, but yeah, something could be blocking something, but also something is out in the open, exposed. Um, yeah, yeah, judgment in the reverse. So something is like all over the place. All right. Um, somebody may have a hard time making a certain decision based off of things being all over the place scattered. Cancer energy could be significant. Since the chariot was the first card came out. Scorpio energy as well with the judgment energy. Okay. Yeah. The Lord will rescue you from every evil attack. It came out sideways. Energy intensive nano machine. So something has to do with some sort of form of technology. All right. People could be attacking you through some sort of technology. Is given the energy of somebody trying to create an energy of chaos and or confusion. But you're going to be rescued from whatever these attacks that people are attempting. Yeah, sent spies to watch you and pretend to, pretended to be uh, sincere. All right. So this is like somebody who can smile in your face and act like they mean you well. But they could be sending people to scope you out for a number of reasons. So just be mindful of that energy. <clears throat> like I said, something here has to do with technology. So I don't know if they're watching you on a phone or um, a computer screen. Okay, this could be any social media web, uh, platform. All right, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Patreon, whatever. TikTok. Somebody could be sending people to scope you out and do some sort of energy manipulation. Yeah, we have pair yoke here. All right. Yeah, being hostile towards you to keep you from speaking, but it came out in the reverse. Viral outbreak. You see, like something is spreading now. All right. I don't know if this is rumors, but that's what it's kind of giving. Okay. Somebody could be sending people to look at at you or into you to see like who you're partnering up with. Okay, for some of you all. So I don't know if this is like a past lover. Um I am kind of picking up on that energy for some of you all, but um for others of you this could be somebody that's watching this person that you may be entertaining. So you take that how that resonates. And um, it's 
it's something that is also off with the communication, okay? I know we're in Mercury retrograde, but I'm not talking about, like, no type of interference where it's hard to hear a person or what it is that they're saying. Um, it's more so of, like, a in-person type of energy. So somebody could, like... I'm getting, I'm picking up on like an energy of kindness, okay? It's almost like um, somebody wants you to go off on a person, but you're not going off on them. You're actually being calm about the situation. Something is going to go viral. Yeah, record keeping. Somebody could be keeping records of something. Somebody could be keeping records, all right? It's like the keep a uh, track. Somebody's keeping track of something. I feel like somebody is being video recorded. And this could be like doing something that'll make people look at an individual a certain type of way. Yeah, an oppressor will never again overrun you, but it came out in the reverse. So this is somebody who has intentions of fucking you over, okay? What they waiting on uh, to display this type of behavior, I have no clue. But this is just a heads up for somebody, okay? And saying, like, there's somebody around you that's keeping records of something, and they plan on fucking you over with something, okay? Continue faith despite trials and challenges. Indian, okay? Somebody could be Indian. Something about Indian can be significant relocation. Yeah, so some of you all, um, maybe you're in the process of relocating, being on the move, going somewhere, all right? Um, some sort of distance is what I feel, okay? Now, with this, an impressor will never again overrun you. Maybe this is going to be the situation that pushes you to relocate. Yeah, see, more opposition energy coming out. That's crazy. And I spoke about opposition when the first card hit the table, which is the chariot, cancer energy in the reverse. And I think this is the second reading that I have done recently where that energy has come out in the reading that I'm doing. I think it was in the Pisces reading, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was the one I did yesterday, but I don't think the thing uploaded until shit early this morning. Anyway, in the face of strong opposition in the reverse, bleaching the skin. All right, something about somebody's face is significant. Um, somebody could be uh, light skin or something like that because we got bleaching the skin here. Like people bleach their skin to become lighter. All right, so I don't know if this person was a darker skin tone and you noticing that this person is becoming light. So some, somebody here may like be um, undetectable or unrecognizable. Like that's what I'm getting with the in the face of strong opp opposition in the reverse. It's like something is not like noticeable or somebody don't know whatever this change is that somebody has made. Three months could be significant. And then we have abuse on celestial beings. And then we have, I love your smile here. All right, somebody is doing some sort of work concerning celestial beings. So the stars, the moon, the sun, all right? It could be a moon ritual, sun rituals, 
spell work and things of that nature. Something about three months is going to be significant. Somebody could also be uh, about to get veneers in the next three months. All right. With this, I love your smile. We already got Indian over here. I don't know. Most people that get veneers from what I've seen on social media, they go to places like Columbia and y'all know where they go get their veneers and stuff. I don't have to go into detail about that, but yeah, somebody could be getting their mouth done. All right. Yeah, we have confrontation. Mm. So somebody may try to confront somebody with some shit, start something. Okay. Somebody could be a shit starter. <laughs> So be prepared for some sort of confrontation. If somebody try to be confrontational with you, I'm telling you, like, just relax. Don't even give them that energy. I'm telling you. Yeah, rescue from the hand of the oppressor, the one who has been robbed. A lot of oppressor energy. I'm talking about, like, how many cars has this been that, that came out in this reading that's talking about oppression? We got the, the chariot energy in the reverse over here that got oppression on, uh yeah, opposition, not oppression, but opposition. Yeah, but anyway, it's still the same shit. If somebody is putting challenges in front of another person where there is no forward movement with the chariot in the reverse, then what the hell do you call that? Oppression. That is a form of oppression. But we got opposition and oppression heavy in your reading. An oppressor will never again overrun you in the reverse. Rescue from the hand of the oppressor, the one who has been robbed upright. So, yeah, I feel like something got a hold of a person, okay? And it's almost like a... It's a negative entity or an energy that is attached to this person. And whatever this energy is that's attached is oppressing a person. So much to the the fact that in a, his like this oppressor energy that came out. One, two, three. I'm seeing three so far. Come on now, three cards. They got that word on it. Yeah, see, we have a, a point, choose. <clears throat> all right. So, you know, there could be this could be what the confrontation is about. All right. Somebody choosing a person over another or something over another. Slander backbiting in the reverse, right? <laughs> Cleaving and division in the reverse. Yeah. So, like I said, something is attached to somebody. It ain't no letting it go with the cleaving and, and a division coming out in the reverse. Now, um, whoever is being chosen, I feel like they're not the person that you should be mad at. I feel like uh, there is a sort of, like, and some of you all that's listening to this message, you're going to be like, oh, that's not resonating with me. I don't know what she's talking about. Then that message is not for you. But what I'm seeing is, it's almost like somebody get chosen or picked or selected for something. And there could be an energy of somebody coming against that person as if it's their fault for something. But I feel like somebody did not say something about you behind your back with the slander and backbiting in the reverse. But like that's the type of energy that's being released. Yeah, we got pledge, agree, be, have charge of, and hold use. It came out in the reverse. So like I said, there is an energy of somebody being released. I don't know if it's you or the uh, cross watcher here. All right. Uh, whatever this is, I do feel like it's going to bring about an energy of somebody being humble. But uh, I feel like something also has to do with somebody not listening. All right. Because I feel like somebody was giving some sort of advice on something. And it's almost like they let it go in one ear and not the other. Yeah. So now somebody is caught up or will get caught up. All right. Yeah. Somebody's not going to get a taken out of whatever this is i feel like they're gonna have to sit there 
Yeah, we got being away covering bandage in the reverse. Yeah. <laughs> this is like what I call the definition of tough love. Like somebody is like, there is nobody to help this person. And now that I think about it, I read something in the Quran. I think it was either the last reading I did for Pisces. No, not the last reading I did for Pisces, but the one before that one, or either it was the last collective message or something like that. But um, it was saying something about like, there won't be any helpers. And that's what I was picking up for whoever energy I was just tapping into. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just seen breaking the family bond too. So somebody could have like, show their disloyalty to a whole bloodline or uh, a group of people that they consider their family and it's like well you done burned them bridges so ain't no it's like you done burned them bridges <laughs> like what you think you're doing holy spirit what else <laughs> this is a whole lot holy spirit what else you got for the collective Okay, yeah, they will make time. Yeah. I'm trying to pick up on some new energies, but I feel like that's also tied to that energy I was just like talking about. It's like somebody being forced to put time and effort and energy into something. Like they have no other option. Okay. It's reminding me or giving me um energy of like some sort of confinement. <laughs> Spirit, what else you got for the collective? Okay. All right, so we have brunch. All right. So uh you or somebody could be going eat breakfast around lunchtime or in between breakfast and lunch, what they call brunch. They will make time to take you out to brunch. We got doctor's office in the reverse. Doctor office in the reverse. Okay, so I don't know if you're dating a doctor for some of you all, but that could be the case because they can in the reverse and financial advising in the reverse. You see? <laughs> all right. Um, That message about the doctor, dating a doctor, that's not going to apply to what's about to come out of my mouth here. Uh, but going back to that previous energy that I was just pulling before I started pulling these cards, you know, like somebody is forced into something. <laughs> Because they can in the reverse? No. It's not because they can. It's because they have to. Like, that's what I'm getting here. They will make time because they have to. Financial advising in the reverse. Somebody could be like... I don't know if this person is out of money or um, they're not listening to some sort of financial advice. We're going to see what else comes out. What else? Contradicting themselves. Trouble at work. You see what I'm saying? Like, and it's crazy because I was just getting that download before these cards even came out. But basically, when I seen financial advising in reverse, I was like, Something is going on with somebody's income where it's like something is just not working out. But I feel like this energy goes back to what I said earlier in this reading. It's like you constantly thinking that you're working towards something. And every time you feel like you should be acknowledged or uh, rewarded or... Um, because I And the reason why I'm using these examples is because the work energy is coming out big time with this energy you know what i'm saying it's something that's going on at somebody's job all right so you could be feeling overlooked okay going back to choosing appointed and somebody taking something out on the wrong person okay um but you feel the energy and you're picking up on the energy is what i'm getting here So 
So somebody could want you to kiss their ass on the job is what I'm getting. Um, or they could be trying to sabotage you. Get in the way of something. Putting you in positions where you won't be eligible for certain things should you try to go for it. You know, like that type of energy. All right. Yeah, studio in the reverse. All right, so somebody here could have been like working on music or something like that, but now they don't have the financial resources to do so. So somebody may not have been um, putting their time in the studio as of lately. We have third wheel pampered here, okay? So somebody could also be putting their money on someone, like investing in a person when they don't really have much, okay? Hides behind their religion in the reverse, yeah. Parking lot garage. I feel like a. Uh, I feel like somebody is like showing you like who they truly are. Okay, we got parking lot and garage coming out. Warlock in the reverse. Producer, yeah. So somebody could be like a. Um, aspiring producer or upcoming artist or something like that. We also have possessive. We have Starbucks here. Somebody could drink coffee. We also have Target. So somebody may spend a lot of time at Target. Y'all know Target also has Starbucks inside um, at, at, at most locations. So we also have crying for another chance. So somebody could want their... Um, yeah, we got side piece here at the bottom of the deck. Somebody could want their way back into um, uh, an environment, like a home of somebody is what I'm getting here. And I feel like this person is thinking about how things used to be different prior to them getting in whatever their current situation is. Okay. Somebody missed the times that they was pampered. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, unable to get past it. So somebody, all they could think about is something here concerning the past and you. All right. Yeah, we got daddy issues coming out. So something here could be going on with somebody's father figure. All right. Yeah, fumbled you bad in the reverse. Like I said, somebody is sitting here reminiscing about another energy. They, Whoever the current energy is, they don't feel like they formed with that person. All right? I feel like something is going on with that situation where it's just not working out. And it could be due to somebody having daddy issues. So something here may be tied to like abandonment. Where somebody was no longer feeling safe or secure within something. That's usually where those type of insecurities and issues stem from. And somebody just stuck on the past because we got unable to get past it. But like I said, somebody is like thinking about what they had with a past energy and they comparing it to a, a current energy and they like, mm -mm, like, I feel like I'm taking more losses than anything. I remember how things used to be with that other person. They used to spoil me, pamper me, do anything, you know, something about crying for another chance. So I don't know, you know, what side of this you on, but somebody, like I said, is trying to get their way back into something. So somebody could have tattoos. We have tattoos. We also have both. Okay. So both can have tattoos ride around the town. Okay. So somebody might like to take car rides. We also have retail therapy. You see what I'm saying? We already had the Starbucks and coffee. I said somebody like to shop at Target. You now they be at Target a lot. And they go to both Starbucks and Target. Somebody likes retail therapy. Um, somebody may miss the rise around the town, you know, being able to do different things. Somebody may feel restricted within the situation. Yeah, behind your back in the reverse. Yeah, so I feel like, like I said, somebody's going to make something known. <laughs> um, I'm getting like this person really don't, possibly don't give a fuck how another person feels. Um... Like, that's what I'm picking up on. Somebody is definitely reminiscing about some shit. Yeah. 
Yeah, male, female in the reverse and Celtic in the reverse. Spirituality and religion, all right? Then we have the, look, <laughs> hides behind their religion in the reverse, okay? I feel like somebody is open and saying, I'm into this, I'm into that. And another person may be like, mm, I don't know, I'm not into that, you know? But let's see what else comes out. <laughs> It's like somebody said they ain't into something or they believe something. But let's keep in mind that this person is also contradicting themselves. So I don't know who this is. It's saying that it could be a feminine or masculine energy. You see, finances here. Somebody is fucked up financially. And this is possibly all that they can think about. You remember I said daddy issues, father at the bottom of the deck. All right. Somebody's finances could be fucked up. Wars and battles in the reverse. Health. Something is a losing battle. Something is also not good for somebody's health is what I'm getting. Yeah, ships right behind that. It's time to move forward. <laughs> yeah. Something here is also a generational curse. I just seen um, Greco-Roman as well as trees. Okay, some of you all, you may have bloodlines that's tied to um, um, like the Greeks or Romans. All right, so a lot of European energy. All right. In regards to this generational curse, what I'm picking up on is uh, somebody have a way of investing into people and pouring so much of themselves into a, um, another energy, thinking that it will fill some sort of void um, that they've been experiencing since childhood. Because um, some of this behavior is stemming from... Um, what was not given some sort of negligence or like some all right something that somebody feels like uh was left out of their childhood that they should have had and or experienced so um they have a way of pouring into people to where it's like um the energy that they pouring into people that's usually an energy that one will pour into somebody that they love um no matter what, and usually that is a parental figure, right? You know, people can lie and say, oh, I don't give a fuck about my mama or my daddy or whatever, but that would be a straight up lie. It's like, no, you do care. It's just that you have pain that is preventing you from being able to tap into those emotions and say, you know what? I shouldn't be feeling this way. It's time for me to heal. And so people like that, they lie to themselves and say that they don't care about this person and they dead to them and all of that. But that's just all um, that negative passion um, that comes with being hurt. You know what I'm saying? And that's something that people don't talk about. Passion can be good and bad. You know, you ever heard somebody say, oh, I love that person with a passion. They say the same shit when they say they hate somebody. And hate is a strong word. Holy Spirit, what else you got? What else you got for the collective? Yeah, see, we got two of chalices here. The bond of David and Jonathan. All right. Yeah, so I'm getting something about word is bond here. Okay, somebody is heavy on loyalty from what I see. They do care about the people that they connect themselves with. Whatever they say they're going to do, they do it. And I feel like maybe somebody is expecting that in return. They want that to be reciprocated. All right. We got the 10 of grains here. Yeah. God's promise to Abraham. Right. And it says, all the land that you see, I will give you and your offspring forever. Yeah. So something about making sure that the family is safe and secure. This is somebody's goal or vision. Then we got the eight of grains here, the craftsman. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm getting something about some sort of partnership. For some of you all, this is a business partnership. 
Maybe God has uh, revealed to you with the high priestess that you're supposed to be partnering up, working with a certain individual so that you can um, create some sort of generational wealth. All right. We also have the king of grains here at the bottom of the deck, Joseph in charge of Egypt. Yeah. So uh, for those that's been paying attention in a lot of the past messages that Joseph energy even came out, maybe like in two or three of the readings that I've done. Right. And I told you all that Joseph is associated with that jail energy. But Joseph energy is also associated with like being exiled. And as you being exiled from your people, your, your, your land, you've been put in charge of a territory that never belonged to you or your family, right? So something about a blessing in disguise here, there could be somebody in your life that y'all may grow some sort of friendship or bond with one another to where somebody could leave another person with some sort of wealth. Right. And now we have um, Peter denies Jesus with the nine of feathers. It says, then Peter remembered the words Jesus had spoken before the rooster crows. You will disown me three times. And he went outside and wept bitterly. Yeah. So now I'm picking up on the energy where some of you all, there's going to be people that feel a certain type of way about you partnering up with somebody that may not even belong to your bloodline. Why are you being guided not to work with your bloodline? This message is not going to be for everybody. Well, because your bloodline have a way of this plan, this loyalty. Let's say they treated you like Joseph. You know, they wanted the people to lock you up, throw, throw away the key. They wanted to deceive you. They felt like uh, you was being treated with favoritism. They feel like you got everything that they were supposed to have or should have been entitled to or had access to, right? Because if you was paying attention when I was reading the other day, it was talking about how Joseph Brothers was like, oh, our father, you know, father loves um, Joseph more than he loved us, right? See, we got Priscilla teaching the teachers at the bottom of the deck. At a page of grains, right? And then we got, uh, he began to speak boldly in the synagogue, right? And then I say something was off with the communication. And I was going to say, you know, it's like somebody being bold, but you'll have to go back and rewind the message to see what it is that I said. Um, but it says, he began to speak boldly in the synagogue. When Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they invited him to their home and explained to him the way of God more adequately. <laughs> so uh, in another reading I was saying like somebody feels like um, I think it was a Pisces reading now that I think about it somebody was like um, oh that person think they all that they think they know everything and it's kind of going to be that energy you just heard me read the page right energy where it was talking about the teachers teaching teachers or the teacher teaching teachers <laughs> what i'm seeing here is like uh somebody's going to be mad that you're partnering up with somebody outside of your bloodline where i was going with it is you're not allowed to partner up with your bloodline because as mentioned earlier in this reading there are generational curses that some of you all's bloodlines is dealing with and for some of you all, your bloodline wanted you left for dead. They wanted to put you in the lion's den. They wanted, you know, um, you not to live your best life or um, live up to your fullest potential, always trying to be a blockage hindering you in a lot of different ways. And it's like if they understood that I'm doing this for the family, I wonder if they'll still get in the way and block their own blessings like that. Right. You could sit here. You could tell your family, hey, I want more for us and I'm working for um, to, to ha have and provide that for us, right? And maybe they still not believing in the vision. I don't know what it is, but you, you're going to get further by working with somebody else. Because, 
You know, with this Peter energy, it's almost like somebody has denied you three times. You gave somebody three opportunities to prove that or redeem themselves where you feel comfortable enough with really taking them serious and saying, okay, let's start investing. Let's start planting seeds, right? But they've shown you not once, not twice, but three times, right? So it's like, why would I want to partner up with somebody that's constantly denying me? They constantly denying what it is that I know, right? Because they low-key jealous of me. <laughs> Crazy. Tell me more about this Two of Cups energy. I'm trying to hurry up, y'all, because we are 35 minutes in. I don't even think I'm going to read today. Yeah, so we got the Seven of Cups. Oh, I don't even know where that card went. <laughs> oh, I see it. Hold up, y'all. All right, Eight of Swords. See what I'm saying? So we already have the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Swords. Mental confusion. Right? Somebody could be into Wicca. That could be what's creating that Eight of Swords energy for some of you all. Give me one more for the Two of Cups. All right. Yeah, the Knight of Swords in the reverse. All right. So, yeah, some of you all, I feel like you was confused about whether or not you should be partnering up with somebody. I do feel like you're going to receive confirmation on how you need to proceed forward because we got the King of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. All right. But uh, yeah, keep, in, keep calm. Just sit back and analyze. That's what I was getting with the Knight of Swords energy. Because usually the Knight of Swords is about rushing towards somebody with a hostile energy. It can be uh, some sort of fast communication coming in. Okay? Something being revealed. But that energy came out in the reverse. So Holy Spirit. Tell me more about this Ten of Grains energy for the collective. Mm -hmm. We have the strength card here. Yeah, Ace of Swords in the reverse. Mm. And Justice. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, you got the Knight of, Knight of Wands, right? You see, uh, I feel like some of you all, there is a monitoring spirit around you, okay? So you may have somebody that's inquiring a lot about different things that you feel like is none of their business or like uh, something that they shouldn't be inquiring or asking questions about. So you may feel led to lie to this person because there's something about this vision that God has provided you with that is supposed to give you the strength and the, and the power to move forward, okay? This is like an elderly person look like they still trying to stay fit and active, you know? Um, so I don't know, some of you all, you may have had a little bit of time that passed by you. Like, I really don't have time to waste. I don't have the time to explain things. So I have to... You know, just tell this person whatever to, like, be quiet until I get where I need to get. So I can get what God has promised me. As of right now, it's not for me to explain, but more so for people to find out. <laughs> like, that's what I'm getting. Clarify the eight of grains. Yeah, we got the food card here. That's taking a leap of faith. All right. Mm-hmm. We got the Knight of Swords here. Yeah, after being conflicted, trying to find find the, the right words maybe on how to come together. All right. Yeah, Knight of Wands here. I do see forward movement. Yeah, and then I'm looking at the Nine of Pentacles. So you're going to see that you would made the right decision by choosing a specific person to work with on something. Tell me about this high priestess energy. All right, we have the moon coming out. All right. 
which is Pisces energy, Knight of Cups. All right, we also got the Four of Cups. <laughs> All right, heavy on the Pisces and Cancer energy, all right? And we got the Ace of Wands here at the bottom of the deck, all right? Clarifying the High Priestess. So um, I feel like there's some sort of a uh, telepathy that's going on between you and another person. I feel like you think about them, they think about you, or you already know or have it made up in your mind that you want to offer somebody something, and they also thinking about you the same way. All right. Uh, this person, they could definitely be watching you. All right. But I feel like it's, this is more so giving an energy of memories, distance. You know what I'm saying? You and this person, y'all may both like to be out in nature by uh, water or something like that is what I'm also getting. All right. So this person could have water in their chart. Okay. All right, something about the next full moon could also be significant with this moon energy or the next moon cycle could be significant. You take it how it resonates here. But uh, I don't know. That energy that I was just picking, uh, reading, I feel like this may have something to do with this person that was denying you or in denial about something. All right, tell me more about this nine of feathers. See, seven of swords. Uh huh. Ten of Swords in the reverse. <laughs> mm hmm. Queen of Cups and the Three of Wands. Mm hmm. Yeah, they both got their damn hand on their head. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. What did I do? Why did I think like that? Why did I say that? You know, I don't know. So, heavy on the things before you speak. All right. Um, Cause I feel like uh, there's something here that's going on with um, communication, but I already told y'all Mercury is in retrograde, right? So y'all already know communications be all fucked up. So that also play like that's also a part of saying things that you don't really mean. A lot of miscommun miscommunication, misunderstandings, things of that nature. All right, let me just go ahead and read real quick out the Quran. Holy Spirit, Father God, please stop my hand on what I need to read out of this book here. Mm -hmm. All right. So it says, um, in the absence of Moses, his people made from their golden jury and idols of a calf that made that made a low, a lowing sound. They did not see that it could neither speak to them nor guide them to the right path. Still, they took it as a God and were wrongdoers. Later, when they were filled with remorse, I'm sorry, filled with remorse and realized they had gone astray, they cried, if the Lord does not have mercy on us and forgive us, we will certainly be losers. Upon Moses returned to his people, totally furious and sorrowful, he said, what an evil thing you committed in my absence. Did you want to hasten your Lord's torment? Uh, torment? Then he threw down the tablets and grabbed his brother by the hair, dragging him closer. Aaron pleaded, O oh, son of my mother, the people overpowered me and were about to kill me. So do not humiliate me and make my enemies rejoice, nor count me among the wrongdoing people. So think about the stuff that I've been picking up in this reading. Moses prayed, my Lord, forgive me and my brother and admit us into your mercy. You are the most merciful of the merciful. Those who worship the calf will certainly be afflicted with God's wrath as well as this grace and the life of this world. This is how we rewarded those who invented falsehood. But those who commit evil then repent and becomes true believers. Uh, your Lord will certainly be all forgiven, most, 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 blah, 
most merciful. When Moses' anger subsided, he took up the tablets whose text contained guidance and mercy for those who stand in awe of their Lord. Moses chose 70 men from among his people for our appointment. And when they were seized by an earthquake, he cried, my Lord, had you will, you could have destroyed them long ago and me as well. Will you destroy us for what the foolish among us has done, have done? This is only a test from you by which you allow whoever you will to stray and guide whoever you will. You are our guardian, so forgive us and have mercy on us. You are the best forgiver. Ordain us what is good in this life and the next. Indeed, we have turned to you in repentance. God replied, I will inflict my torment on whoever I will, but my mercy encompasses everything. I will ordain mercy for those who shun evil, pay alms tax, and believe in our revelations. They are the ones who follow the messenger, the unlettered prophet, whose description they find in their truth. I'm sorry, in their Torah and the gospel. He commands them to do good and forbids them from evil, permits for them what is lawful and forbids to them what is impure and relieves them from their um, burdens and the shackles that bound them. Only those who believe in him, honor and support him and follow the light seen, uh, sent down to him will be successful. Say, O prophet, O humanity, I am God's messenger to you all. To him alone belongs to the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. There is no God worthy of worship except him. He gives life and causes death. So believe in God and his messenger, the unuttered, I'm sorry, the unlettered prophet who believes in God and his revelations and follow him. You may be rightfully guided. I'm sorry, you may be rightly guided. There are some among the people of Moses who guide with the truth and establish justice accordingly. We divided them into 12 tribes, each as a community. And we revealed to Moses when his people ask for water, strike the rock with your staff. Then 12 springs gushed out. Each tribe knew its drinking place. Um, we shaded them with clouds and sent down to them mana and quail, saying, eat from the good things we have provided for you. They certainly did not, uh, certainly, um, did not wrong us, but wrong themselves. Hold up, y'all. All right. And remember when it was said to them, enter the city of Jerusalem and eat from whatever you please. Say, absolve us and enter the gate with humility. We will forgive your sins and we will multiply the reward for the good doers. But the wrongdoers among them changed the words they were commanded to say. So we sent down a punishment from the heavens upon them for their wrongdoing. Man, look. <laughs> It says, ask them, O prophet, about the people of the town, which was by the sea, who broke the Sabbath during the Sabbath, abundant fish would come to them clearly visible. But on other days, the fish were never seen. In this way, we tested them for their rebelliousness. When some of the righteous among them questioned their fellow Sabbath keepers, why do bother to warn those Sabbath breakers who will either be destroyed or severely punished by God? They replied, just to be free from the Lord's blame, and so perhaps they may abstain. When they ignored the warning they were given, we rescued those who used to warn against evil and overtook the wrongdoers with the dreadful punishment for their rebelliousness. But when they stubbornly persisted in, viol uh, in viol violation, uh, we said to them, be disgraced, apes. And remember, O prophet, when your Lord declared that he would send again against them others who would make them suffer terribly on the day of judgment. Indeed, your Lord is swift in punishment, but he is certainly all forgiven, most merciful. We dispersed them through the land in groups. They were righteous. Others were less so. We tested them with prosperity and adversity. So perhaps they would return to the right path. 
Um, then they were succeeded by other generations who inherited the scripture. They indulged in unlawful gains, claiming we will be forgiven after all. And if similar gain came their way, they will seize it. Was a covenant not taken from them in the scripture that they would not say anything about God except the truth. And they were already well versed in his teachings. But the eternal home, uh, home of the hereafter is far better than those mindful of God. Uh, far better for those mindful of God. Will you not then understand? As for those who firmly abide by scripture and establish prayer, surely we never discount the reward of those acting righteously. <laughs> and I'm going to leave it there, collective, and until next time, bye.